So now that I'm confident with the steering location, I just need to finalize the design for the spindle upright and put some pocket cutouts. And these are not purely aesthetic. Adding those pocket cutouts makes the part more rigid as well as making it more lightweight. And then adding all those chamfers and radiuses gets rid of any stress concentrations that you might have in the part. Because anytime you have a sharp edge in a part, all the stress stays concentrated in that sharp corner. So you want to reduce those as much as possible by using fillets and chamfers. And it also is the only way to make the part actually machinable, especially when it's got weird, crazy angles like this. This is not very exciting because I'm just mirroring components in, but there is one useful SOLIDWORKS trick, which is that if you have a part that you need to duplicate and mirror, there's a function for that. You just select the part and a plane, and then you use the function mirror part, and it will create an equal and opposite version of that part that's linked in dimension. So any changes that you make to the parent part will carry over to the mirrored part. And so that's what I do on left and right components and suspension assemblies.